It's just about being a, a friendly person who's loaning the backseat of your car to take someone to the, a, a doctor's appointment. United Way of the Brazos Valley is looking for volunteers to help with their Ride to Health program. And KRHD reporter Diamond Dixon is speaking with United Way to see how you can help out in the community. United Way of Brazos Valley is looking for volunteers to give rides and drive patients to local health care clinics in the area. Usually I have a busy schedule on like three days of the week, but on the ones that I don't, then I look over to the website and see if there's any appointments that I can pick up. Allison Prince is the president and CEO of United Way of the Brazos Valley. She says Ride to Health was the answer to many people's concerns of making it to their doctor's appointments. We kept hearing that transportation to medical appointments was a problem and mass transit and all these solutions that are solutions but are very expensive. And so he said, what about volunteers just being a neighbor and taking someone to the doctor, their doctor's appointment? Prince says they would like to expand the program to more health care providers. We want to provide a really strong service and we cannot meet the demand of the entire community at this time. That's why we need the volunteers. United Way works with a list of nonprofit health care providers in the area. And from that list, people who need the right to health service get approval through their doctor. It has to be qualified through their provider that they have to say, we have someone who we know does not have transportation to this appointment and it is inhibiting them to get to their appointments. Um, and so we would like to request that they be enrolled in Ride to Health. Prince says all Ride to Health volunteers must pass a background check and will have to maintain a good driving record. DiMaggio says rides last half an hour at most. Driving the person from your house to their house to the medical center, it might take about anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes depending on where you live. DiMaggio says getting to talk to nice people has made him passionate about volunteering and requesting a ride is simple. The person who needs help puts an appointment online on the website. You look through them and say, I can do it this time. So you click it, assign it to yourself, and you, you get to talk to some nice people. You feel good about it later. It's a good experience. Well, if you'd like to learn more about becoming a volunteer for Ride to Help, you can visit carehcnews.com for more details. And Brian Diamond Dixon, Carrie, she News.